Hey Tubers, uh, this stuff is too good to not make a video. I made a video yesterday explaining what I felt would happen because of Netanyahu's election. Uh, I recommend you watch that in order to understand what I'm saying in this video. Um, after Netanyahu won, this was the first article I was seeing after posting that video. Obama yet to congratulate Netanyahu despite not waiting to call newly elected Islamist leaders. So he was um, he was congratulating um, Muslim Islam uh, leaders in other countries yet he would not call Netanyahu to congratulate him on his victory um, you can read that here for more details however this is the one that really caught my eye Obama lays down punishment on Net Netanyahu the Obama administration officials announced the U.S. may agree to U.N. draft resolution ordering a two-state solution after the Netanyahu victory. This, uh, possibly in combination with the Iran nuclear deal, would be the covenant with many, I believe, especially since we have September coming up, the end of the Shemitah, the beginning of the Jubilee, and the fourth blood moon. Uh, on top of being the end of a generation since Israel became a nation so many things lining up this fall um, God said to Noah that he would not always strive with man but man's years would be 120 years and some people take that to mean the number of years that a man's lifespan would become but if you look at that as Jubilee years this coming Jubilee year that starts in September is the 120th jubilee year of time if you do the math on that that's six thousand years leaving one thousand years to fulfill the uh... millennial reign so equaling seven thousand years uh... a day is as a thousand years with the lord a thousand years is as the as a day with the lord so back to this Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu may have just scored a large victory at home, but Israel's relations with the United States could be on the brink. The administration of President Barack Obama was particularly prickled by Netanyahu's assertion on Monday that he no longer supports the two-state solution as well as continued building in Judea and Samaria. Now this video is what I'm referencing from yesterday. Um, Netanyahu, right before the elections, rejected the two-state solution. Read more here for that. The quote he specifically said, I think that anyone who is going to establish a Palestinian state today and evacuate lands is giving attack grounds to the radical Isla uh, Islam against the state of Israel. So he changed his position and said that anyone giving the, the the Palestinians land within Israel is only giving place for radical Islam to attack. So back to this article, the uh, lays down punishment. The administration of President Barack Obama was particularly prickled. I read that one. Adding insult to injury for the U.S. was Netanyahu's comment on election day itself that Israelis must rally to the polls to combat the large number of Arabs going to vote. As a, revol as a result, the Obama administration is now... I like to highlight stuff. Um, the Obama administration is now carefully weighing whether to agree to a draft resolution at the United Nations Security Council which calls for the establishment of a Palestinian state and Israel, Israel's withdrawal from Judea and Samaria along with mutually agreed land swaps. There's multiple times where the U United Nations Security Council, the UN, have voted about um, Palestinian um, statehood, about uh, you know dividing Israel, about all sorts of things like that, and only the U.S. veto has prevented that from going through. So now that Obama is clearly on revenge mode, it's very likely that he would withhold that veto and betray Israel. 
Um, there's two times in Scripture that the son of perdition is mentioned. One time refers to Judas. The other time refers to the Antichrist. Now, what did Judas do? What did the son of perdition do? You know, first they were a friend to Jesus. Judas was a friend of Jesus. And they turned around and betrayed him, backstabbed him. That's exactly why I believe, it's another reason why I believe Obama's the Antichrist. He's the only one in position that's a friend to Israel with the ability to do the same son of perdition backstab betrayal. So that's what I believe is going to happen here. Obama is going to do a backstab betrayal on Israel and basically try to throw them to the wolves. But you can see that as Netanyahu was upheld by God yesterday during the elections, I believe that Israel obviously will be again upheld against the wicked plans of Barack Obama, the United Nations, and the devil himself. So I just wanted to show you that exactly what I said on yesterday's video. Because of Netanyahu's re-election, um, they're going to either push towards war or towards the forced division of Israel. And that's exactly what this says here. So. The resolution would also oblige Israel to immediately enter into negotiations with Palestinian Authority prior to final peace agreement between both sides. You know, you can read the rest of this, but um, it's so here. This is the final end game, like I said in the other video. Make sure you watch that. Um, Jesus is coming, and you must have your house in order because I'm not trying to date set, but I do believe that September is very prophetic. I'm not saying that the rapture is in September, but Jesus rebuked the Jews for not knowing the time of their visitation. Um, he said that you can discern the signs of the, the sky, the face of the sky, but how is it that you cannot discern the signs of the times? So, if you're not watching and expecting major things in the next six months, um, Jesus said that this day would overtake you as a thief. Don't be that person.